as a leader, how can you lead well if you don't know why you are leading? If you are not sure what you are called to do, what on earth am I doing here? Do you have a personal purpose statement? And does it matter? Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenu from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. Why do you do what you do? What is your personal purpose statement? In my 20s in France, some of my fellow students were seeing retirement as they aim for life. Bloody Frenchmen. Work was just a means to retire well. Life starts after a career. Today, in their mid-50s, if they haven't changed their outlook on life, they must be counting the month to their great retirement day. What about you? Maybe you do what you do because you are from a generation where your parents choose your studies for you. Or because you couldn't study. Or, duh, you have bills to pay, kids to raise, relatives to care for, or a desire to accumulate stuff, or show off, or indulge yourself and your inner circle. Or maybe you have been deeply hurt in the past, or you have a dreaded fear of the future. Whatever baggage you carry drives your current and future decisions. And life happens. Few are those who are doing what truly fulfill them. Are you fulfilled? Or do you have this inner craving? What some people call a God-shaped hole in your heart. These aspirations that you deliberately suppressed for all those years keep on popping up, especially if you are well advanced in your career, you ask yourself, there must be more than this rat race. I'm not a rat. A life without purpose is meaningless. A self-centered life is unfulfilled. In this episode, I want to help you bring out clarity to your purpose. Rekindle hope so that you may have the courage to make better life-changing decisions. And as this is the theme of this video series, this will help you lead your people better, purposefully. Identifying my personal purpose actually works for me. Now, in my third career, building from the two previous ones, I find purpose in supporting leaders like you develop better leadership habits to their benefit and that of their followers. It took me 53 years to clarify why I do what I do. Thanks to my mentor, Charles White, and four questions he asked me. The questions are easy to ask. They are difficult to answer. I suggest you get your coach assistant. If you are serious about it, you'll keep on refining your answers over time. Your personal purpose statement will become more mm, purposeful and actionable. That's continuous improvement. Okay, question one. What is your gifting? What do you believe are the abilities that you have been given you? In other words, your gifts or talents. Here, I advise that you take the strength finder test to identify your top five strengths. I added a link to the Gallup Strength Finder website in the description box below. I don't have any commercial interest in the product. Question two, what do you want to do with your abilities? And question three, for whom would you exercise your gifts? To help you answer, here is the golden thread. Who did you impact the most in your life? Question four, what would happen when you apply these gifts to that person or group of people? What are the benefits to them? After you've answered each question accurately, you'll want to reduce all the answers into an elegant and rather brief statement. Aim for one paragraph, 
that you can remember. It is important. This is your life true north. With your personal purpose in mind, you can now establish longer term challenges and short term goals to get there. As you journey towards them and overcome the obstacles on the way, you should expect positive emotions, a sense of achievement, and also the mindfulness to be here, now. You live well in the present because what you are doing now is fulfilling your personal purpose. Joy. You've heard that quote before from Mark Anthony. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And when, by law, you come to that fateful retirement day, you can reflect and say, this was hard at times, even painful, but man, that was a fulfilling ride. See all the people that I have impacted positively. Now, let's get on with the next assignment. There is no retirement for people living their lives purposefully. Peter Drucker taught his last class at age 92. He continued to act as a consultant to businesses and non-profit organizations well into his 90s. His career spans more than 70 years. Likewise, Edward Deming was still consulting in his 90s and he wrote his last book at age 93. Now that you have your personal purpose statement, your life's true north, use it. Don't regret later that you didn't act when you had the opportunity. You have one life. Make it interesting. Invest in others. And this is the good quote for this episode. Albert Einstein wrote, Only a life lived in the service to others is worth living. If service is beneath you, then leadership is beyond you. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching on your personal purpose statement. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at imp.solutions. Here is a clue for the location. It's the end of the world as we know it in Africa. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills. Turn them into good habits or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in the next two weeks. In the meantime, lead well, purposefully.